Hello everybody, uh, today I'm making a tutorial on how to do a genome close. One of my subscribers requested this video and uh, I forgot to write down her name but I will put it up in the description box and also on on this tutorial. As you can see I I grabbed an old shirt. Let me let me uh, zoom out. I had a shirt that uh, that I wanted to do. I thought it was kind of boring, so I wanted to do something else. I also started on a skirt, but that one's taking a little longer. So this is the edging that I came out with, and I did not do the other side because I wanted to show you the other uh, how to do it in, in the other side. Also, um, when I started doing this edging, I didn't realize that it wasn't uh, all the way round, like all the way around, you know, like a skirt will be. So this is um, one that opens. So, um, so if you have one like mine, you want to start at one of the endings of your, uh, where it con you know, one of the edgings. Where the button goes or with the the hole where you put the button goes but if you are doing a piece where it just goes all the way around it doesn't matter where you start so i'll be using a number uh five needle and number 10 thread so let's get started uh what i did is um you're gonna start with the ring and as you can see, I finish with the ring in each side. So I'm going to push my clothes and let me zoom in. Okay. Okay, so we start with four double stitches. One pico and four double stitches okay so instead of putting a pico there we're gonna start attaching our work so what I did is I counted I don't know if you can see them but that's gonna give my my guide in. like I'm gonna be checking on that I'm not sure if you can see this let me zoom out but you can see the stitches okay right there you can see the stitches from the sewing machine and you can actually count those one two three four five six so I'm gonna go in the sixth one right there okay so that's gonna give, be my my guide on where to put the next uh, each of my uh, every time I attach I'm sorry okay so let me get closer and I'm gonna count six so there, it doesn't have to be like exactly six but just like you know kinda one two three four five six and I'm gonna go in that stitch and sometimes it gets kinda hard to go in there so what I did, it's I grabbed like a thinner needle. Let me grab it real quick. I have all kinds of needles here. So I grabbed one of the thinner needles or one of the needles that have like a pointy thing, like a pointy, uh, my nail is so crooked, but it's gonna work, it's gonna help us. Okay, so what I do is that helps me lift up the stitch because our needles uh, for tatting some of them are not pointy so this is gonna help me lift it up I hope <laughs> okay come on okay let me go on the next one Sorry, the camera is like right in front of me. Let me just do it real quick. Okay. 
Okay, so I got my needle in there. And now I'm going to get this one in there. See, I lift it up so it's easier. There we go. So, I'm getting all tangled. And that's going to happen. You're, you're going to have to untwist your garment and because it's going to start getting all twisted. So, instead of putting a pico here, our joining to our fabric is going to be our pico. Okay, so then we're going to do four double stitches. Pico. Four double stitches. Okay, so this is what we have so far. We have four double stitches, pico, four double stitches, and then we went inside one of the stitches from our garments, and then four double stitches, pico, four double stitches. Okay, so now we're gonna close our ring. And let me pull through it out a little bit. That will make it easier for you to close your ring. Go under. Okay. So there we have our first ring. Just like that. And this is not hard at all. So then now we're going to reverse our work and do our chain of the same thing for double stitches. Now it's a little tricky at first. You have to grab your garment, grab it with your ring. One, two, three, four, pico, four double stitches, pico, four double stitches, and one more pico and four double stitches. Okay, so we have our chain. Right, we're gonna put it in front of our ring. Just like that. And we're gonna reverse our work. This is where it starts becoming um, a little bit tricky because you have to uh, you gotta reverse all your work you know just remember you gotta reverse your work your garment until your chain is looking left before it was looking to the right and then we reverse and now it's looking left and then we have our teardrop which that tell us that we reverse the right way Right, and then we make a little knot at the top, and now we're gonna make another ring of four double stitches. And then you're gonna join to the pico. Now if you don't wanna join, that's fine, but I'm gonna join. Four double stitches. Now we're gonna have to go inside our stitches again, our stitches from our garment. And like I said, you can either count or you can just like eyeball it like this. 
see so I'm just gonna go right here and lift that my stitch with my other needle and then go in there and put the other needle down go in there with my needle just like that see that and four double stitches make sure it's tight all the way down one two three four pico one two three four very good now we're gonna close our ring like that now we have two rings and a chain now we have to reverse our work and I'm gonna make one more chain and one more ring with you so you can see how to, how to do it I'm not gonna finish this whole thing okay so next chain Four double stitches. Pico. Four double stitches. Pico. Four double stitches. Pico. Four double stitches. like that okay now let's finish our chain and we're gonna reverse our stuff all the way around Ugh. okay There's my teardrop. And don't get all messy. Okay. So let's do one more ring together. So four double stitches. Let's join. Four double stitches. And now we're going to join to our garment. So right about there. And if your garment stitches are loose enough, you don't need this. Mine are very tight so I need it but you might not need it so so as you can see this is very very easy it's not hard at all four double stitches make sure you pull it all the way close to your to your previous uh, double stitch okay you don't want a gap there pico Four double stitches. Okay, so let's close this ring. Okay. 
Okay, just like that. And there's our aging. And you know, you keep keep going until you finish all the way around. And you know, if you have a garment that goes all the way around, you just connect your first ring. You know, you make a chain and you'll connect it just right here to here. But if you want, if you have one like me, then just end with the ring. I hope this uh, video was helpful to you. And if you like my video, please like my video. And if you like to see, um, if you want me to make like a different tutorial or do you have a question, please feel free to ask, ask me. And I have had um, one of my subscribers send me a picture of a uh, pattern that she bought on Etsy and I you know I pretty much told her that I needed permission from the person that she bought it from because um, I don't I don't agree in taking credit for other people's work so if you have the website or the name of the person and the contact you know that the e the email or the website and I can contact the person and ask I'm more ha I'm more than happy to do it so thank you for watching and have a good day